from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hey everybody, it's Dry Day, Friday to you. It's yes. September 24th and we've got a special guest here with us today. Real Housewife of DC star, Mikkel Salahi. Welcome to the show. Thank you for it, having me. Had, this is so fun. You had a pretty big show last night, yes, right? A lot of big. drama, a lot, a lot of, of drama. It was, was funny, though. Flying. It was entertaining. Yeah. Uh, we talked about everything, the five women. So. You and Tark I, just pour a little wine, sit back and watch yourselves every week? Or well, what? Do you have people in? What do you do? You know, we uh, get the clip two days before. Oh, uh, you, get, you get an advantage. Yeah, okay, we get in advance and we take it all in. And then we last night went to La Pomme, is it, uh, and had a viewing party. Okay. With oh, a lot so of you people decide in New York. if you like it and then just and then invite right. friends. If, <laughs> well, is, you, is it as close to what really happens? I mean, because we see obviously there's an edited version that we get to see. From what you experience, is this close to what the real deal yeah, is? It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. You know, the Redskins, that was a blast, and some of the things that you hear with the different wives, it is. You but know, they everywhere you go, crisis <laughs> follows you. Why is that? I know. Well, just just the whole thing with the uh, with the the Redskin Ets, right. whatever they're called. Right. They're, they were saying you'd never been a cheerleader for the Redskins. In 2000, right after the White House, uh, uh, it was a I big received, year. Yeah, a phone call and said we had, you know, I had cheered with them. Pay dues for the last seven years, and uh, they said, you know, Mikkel. To be honest, I was 80s, and they put me as 91 because I didn't want my age to be known. So after when I was on with Matt Lauer the first time, that's the first thing I got out. I'm 44. Yeah. <laughs> so right, to get you know, out. to yeah. get it out. But um, so the Redskins actually actually asked me to cheer. Uh, mm -hmm. And to do the but alumni. Why does this keep happening? Yeah, I don't know. Here's the question. Here's the question. Here's the question. After controversy. There are tons of housewives, and everyone seems to skate. But when it comes to you, it's all the housewives <laughs> say that she's X, Y, and Z. Right. I mean, there was a lot of tension. There's on a lot this of sofa tension. You yeah. the others. I know they think I'm anorexic. I'm not. I disclose that. Okay. You know, I deal with multiple sclerosis. Which you just and, also disclosed. And I did to get a jump on the media. Mm -hmm. You know, they were well, digging yeah. hard into my life. So, you know, everything's out there about me now. And I thought if I can help one person, you know, that has a mess like my mom's carried me through, then I've done the right you thing. You discovered it when you were 28, you say, right? Right, in 1993. Well, I didn't realize this book was already out. This is called Cirque du Salahi. And at times, it must feel like your life is a circus. It does, especially, you know, Miss Diamond captured it right. The media spun it. It continues to spin. It's 10 months later. This is quite a um, yeah. um, sympathetic look at your lives. I and it so. must, after everything you've been through, it must be like, finally, somebody is being nice to you, in right. a sense. What has your year been like in terms of the, I mean, I didn't really, it's been less than a year since the infamous uh, White House experience. Right. It was in it, November yeah. of, of 2009. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's certainly um, been an adjustment. I've had to learn to get tough skin. Yeah. You know, I'm a sensitive person, so but I've learned to get strong and not, you have to remember who you are. One so. of the, one of the complaints against you that I've heard repeatedly is they are cashing in on what they did. And one of the things, mm -hmm. I mean, here's a. Yeah. A Barbie doll. <laughs> I mean, there are you know, it, you know, like there are people who say you're making money off of this, no, off of this not deal. Not a dollar off of this, and not a dollar. This is Miss Diamond's book. So the, even yeah, I think you had no the, editorial control. None, over this, no she editorial. Says, but, but selling autographs on eBay and things like that. N not that's for me. Not, that's, that's not, not for, you? for a dollar for us. So you guys but, aren't making any money. No, if off you of see this. something on eBay, it's uh, I think MS, the Society, and there's a. PR firm that's mm -hmm. doing something where you can purchase our signature sure. and it goes to MS. But at this so, point, not got, a dollar to us okay. personally. You've okay. got to be asking yourself, um, has it been worth it? I mean, what did you want to accomplish by by doing the, the Housewives show? And are you sorry in a way now that you even subjected yourself to all of it? You know, I I'm not still. You're not still. Mm -hmm. I love the Real Housewives. I think even if you admit it or mm -hmm. not, everybody's watching it. And it's such a franchise. I mean, Andy Cohen, what he's built, and it highlights women. It highlights the nation's capital. Mm -hmm. and but it it's has not been getting a lot the ratings fun. that the other ones are, right? Are it you disappointing that? It did in D.C. Um, I think people are trying to think we're sort of boring in D.C. So you know, well, you're not boring. I, <laughs> we did, call you a lot of things. I guess. All agree I don't on think that. anybody's calling you no, boring. Right. No. Yeah. Well, Kath and I went to uh, an event last night that we want to talk about a little bit. Well, yesterday um, afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Right. And um, it was all the NBC execs. Okay. Wow. All the a lot of the NBC this morning talent. Rooftop garden thing. Gorgeous. And then there was a woman uh, named. Well. 
Allison Gullist. Yeah. Yes, we like yeah. to talk about Allison Well, Rosetta. Allison is, is head of all of PR she's for great. Andy. She's A adorable. She's beautiful. Here's what she said to us, though, Mikkel. She said that she watches our show. Yes. But she watches it on every mute. day. She watches us on mute. On so mute. we know we yeah. know that we're on yeah. mute right now. Yeah. So, so we'd like to hold this up for Allison. Oh, there you go, Allison. Yeah. Allison, but, uh, you know, she, okay. she's going ah, in her office. Off. But we, we don't, don't appreciate you muting us, all right? Does she really mute? Yes, she does. We no, wonder if a her. lot of people mute us. We, <laughs> we certainly hope Well, Nielsen not. doesn't care. They don't know if this about this stuff. You, the other day, you weren't here, but the other day, um, I told a story of years ago. Mm, yeah. Maybe we can go to that, that clip. I told a story of ha something that happened to me with the beautiful actress Victoria Principal. Do we have that, y'all? Y'all? Does it mean she goes... Kathy, you have a, a beautiful body, but you love cheese, don't you? <laughs> what did that mean? And I went, yes. Yeah. She says, you know, most women have a little problem with dairy. You know that. <laughs> and if you just stop eating cheese, that'll go away. That was <laughs> okay. And I come home yesterday. You never know what you're going to get in the mail. What? You got to be careful. This box arrives beautifully, beautifully mm -hmm. wrapped. I open it up. Feel that sucks. Okay. Sway. You can Ooh, make a dress. You nice. can make a sorry out of that. <laughs> anyway, I open it up, and it's a note, and it says, "Dear Kathy Lee, you sound very, very sexy, sexy when you are hoarse." Fondly, Victoria Principal. What is in there? Wow. Oh, now. cheese. The woman sent me cheese. I love her. I love I her. I stopped dairy because it was making me lose my voice because of phlegm. Oh, maybe that, maybe you've got a I deeper voice, same voice same. too. We got to cut out the. Yeah, we got it. I think that was the classiest thing in the world. <laughs> I is love that her for doing that. That, that is so great. sexy. With, you know what? You got to love somebody that does that. Yes. And I guess she's she's to our point here. You gotta have a sense of humor you about do. things or you're gonna want to end it all. Right. I, I bet there have been times when you wanted to end it. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. It's crazy. Tell us about those times. <laughs> yeah. Painful. Yeah. You what, know? what was the lowest time? The um, lowest point for you? I think finally coming out the other day uh, about and the MS. saying that I have MS, getting those words out but were But they're really even hard. questioning that now too, I guess, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, and they are. And then two days later, rumors were that I was getting fired and that I quit. And you know, I thought, you know, just let me get through this one thing of having to come open Why? with it. Okay. No, they're well, not yeah, going to give you time. Yeah, yeah, let's ask it. about MS for a second, because I think now people come out with illnesses or, or whatever, and it's not, no one... Uh, looks down on someone who comes There's out. There's no stigma to why it. Not, why not, why was it such a, a secret that you wanted to wait for Because we're just getting there, Huda. You know, I don't think that America before, just now we're getting better about it, but there was a stigma. I remember being in a job where people would get fired for less and lose their jobs. They just find a way to ease them out. Mm -hmm. So I always had the fear of, you know, seeing other people go and I thought, oh gosh, I'll be, you know, the next to go. So I kept it a secret and no matter if my hands, I couldn't feel them mm -hmm. or they went numb I thought no way I'm letting this secret right. out you know because it then, makes you vulnerable more right vulnerable and people. then they say oh she's sick okay. and you have pity and all sure. that all, all right yeah. it is that time in the program where we bring on our favorite person all right Bobby, Bobby Thomas, Thomas. Yeah. we yeah. just yeah. love to get our Bobby Thank on you. our Bobby's butt here you look over beautiful over here. 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 She she she's unbelievable Thank you. we hate her guts we love her so much okay go what do we have okay for Bobby's buzz today I am a member of the million mile club not the high mile club oh thank you we here some travel <laughs> travel secrets. I was so excited to find this mini micro steamer. It's very like affordable. It's from Travel Smart. How cute. It's so adorable. All of these are on the $20 price point. And then a mini electric toothbrush oh, that's smart. with a cover that comes that helps keep it sanitary. Uh -huh. That's powdered mouthwash from um, Super Smile that you just add water and rinse on the go. And then last but not least, if anything's going to get me to work out, it's a fit kit that's as cute as a clutch. Everything What's in you there? need in there. What is in it? It's a jump rope, it's resistance bands, all of it. Oh, you can just put that in your it. luggage. And what are we going to do with the other 25 seconds? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's they talk about somebody's love life. Oh, my gosh. No, no. I think How is Michael? <laughs> How is he? Oh, my gosh, he is. Um, Can I tell you something? Because Cody Wait. wanted me to ask. <laughs> Wait, I did meet Michael. I'm sure. Cute. Adorable. I bet. He's, a, he's wow. adorable. This is an, an wow. exclusive, everyone. But maybe you'll and... just won't rush through so often now. <laughs> no. uh, are, she's beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah. She's Thank beautiful. You very lucky, much. lucky. I love you, ladies. We all love right. you too, And all job. this information for everyone at home, back to the travel stuff, is on allday.com. Got it. Or, all, or all day blog on today's show.com. Okay. Oh, we got, got to you. Okay. We got to <laughs> you. Sorry, what's this? Everybody gets Stay with us. Sarah. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. For the record, I met Michael as well, and I love him. Okay. So cute. There's a lot of love for Michael. We have a fan picture here. 
Sabrina from Georgia posted on Facebook. She ran into KLG the other day, Kathy Lee. Oh, and, um, but she, yesterday. Yeah, and she posted it and said it was so great to meet you. I'm glad I didn't smack her around. That's good. Well, good. You're sweet. <laughs> like I usually do with children. Yeah. No, no, she was adorable. They were Thank outside here in the plaza. Thanks, Sarah. All right, up next, uh oh, Seth Meyers sits down with two of Saturday Night Live's biggest stars. Ooh. That would be Hoda and me. Oh, we're very big and fast. Right after this, I've got an axe to grind with this guy.